Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep, and I am proud to announce the completion of another set. You can make out some raggedy tags here, a base set, jungle, and this actually used to say fossil, but you know, it's it's been fossilized over time and it just, it broke up. So I'm gonna be showing off my jungle set today. Um, we're being going through base set really quick before we get there. I'm missing a few cards from base set, and of course they're the most expensive cards, so I'm gonna be waiting on those, and yeah. Going straight to jungle. I'm going to be going through each of the cards individually and then at the end kind of swiping through all the, the major pieces all at once. This is just a complete set. This isn't like, you know, every variant of every single card. They're not all first edition. They're not all near mint. This is literally me just trying to get one of every card for every single number within the set. So it's it's a little bit more reasonable for someone like me that, you know, isn't balling like crazy. And it's, it's nice to just order a few cards here and there or find them at local card shops and purchase them. So yeah. Start with this Clefable. I think this is a very nice artwork. I mean, Clefable got the nice little belly right there. You just want to rub it for good luck. If you kind of like look at it for a long time, it looks like it's a head that has a really long chin and then it kind of starts getting freaky, but the hollow pattern on there is really nice. Got the Electrode. Definitely not one of my like favorite Pokemon or favorite cards, but I mean, it's, it's not a bad card. Flareon. I don't even like Flareon. Probably one of my, maybe my least favorite evolution. I'm not sure, but like this Flareon is just, Oh my gosh, just beautiful artwork. It just goes really well, really well. Here we have credit to give to here. Jimeno, sorry, I couldn't read it through my phone screen. Jolteon, one of the most popular cards in the set, you know, besides the Flareon. And yeah, it's, it's just a really good looking card. Is it my favorite Jolteon artwork ever? No, because I always thought that it was weird, like the foot kind of reaching into the, the screen. And this one is like really scratched up and everything too, but it's a nice card nonetheless. It's it's a very iconic card within this set. The Kangaskhan, I feel like this is a very basic photo, but I mean, it makes sense for a colorless or a normal type Pokemon. I mean, I like it. You can see the little little baby Kangaskhan in right there. That's, that's pretty funny to me. I've never actually taken a close look at it. Mr. Mime, this is actually one of the few fossil hollows that I actually pulled growing up. So yeah, I had this fossil Mr. Mime and it, it's a cool little, it's a cool little card, I'm not gonna lie. And then Queen, another one that's a fairly basic artwork, just a very, you know, like something that you'd see, I was about to say on a card, but it's literally on a card. But yeah, it's it's a good little artwork. Queen, I definitely like Nidoking better, but Nidoking's a cool Pokemon. Reminds me of Giovanni. Pidgeot. This hollow is just, I don't know what it is. Pidgeot is nothing special of a Pokemon. Like, it's, it's nothing to write home about. But this card is just, it's amazing. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. That artwork is just so nice, so nice. Got the pincer. I feel like this is an easily forgettable one. It's, you know, a hollow within the set, has no evolutions or pre-evolutions or anything, and it's pincer. All right, moving on to the scyther. I personally think this is one of the best artworks. Overall card, like with the background and everything, it's okay. But this, this artwork is just, I think it's just immaculate. It's it's a really cool artwork. I have a really bad condition one, unfortunately. Horrible centering, a bunch of scratching, but hey, here it is. We have the Snorlax. This, uh, it's close with the Flareon, but I would say this is probably my favorite card within this set. This is just a classic artwork for Snorlax. He's just laying down, you know, he's acknowledging you, but he's not actually getting up because he's so freaking fat and lazy, but he's so strong and powerful and he can eat a ton. Vaporeon. Another evolution people love the evolutions. This one, I don't know. It's it's kind of tough. I, I think it just looks really weird. I mean, you know, just look at that face and head, and then look at the body. Like it's almost like mermaid, but then it like turns into a fish, and then it's like a, a rabbit. I don't know how to explain it. Vapor, I really like Vaporeon. That card just a little odd. Venomoth, very basic card, very basic. Victory Bell. A little less basic, but still fairly basic. I never actually noticed that it is like kind of like woody back there, like in a forest. So that's kind of nice. We have the Vile Plume. I actually really like this. I mean, it's kind of, you know, the, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like the 3D, like doesn't look to be hand drawn at least. Like it looks like a 3D model, but I kind of like it. I feel like it works for Vile Plume. We have the Wigglytuff. This is probably my third favorite card within this set. I just really like the artwork of this Wigglytuff. It looks so happy, it's kind of leaping. It looks a lot more, not slim, but like petite in this photo compared to, you know, a lot of other places that you'd see the Wigglytuff. So yeah. 
for Fable. So now we're getting to the non hollow. So I'll spend a little bit less time on these. If the backgrounds are nice, like I really like the background of this one. Electro, nothing special. Flareon, I think this card looks really good in the non hollow form as well. Jolteon, I think because of the nature of the background, it looks way better with the hollow. Same thing with the Kangaskhan. Mr. Mime, I think the background is, I think the background looks nice with Mr. Mime. It makes sense. Nido Queen, you kind of have like that real, it almost looks like real world back there, which is kind of cool. Got Pidgeot, Pinsir, Scyther. Did I call it Scizor earlier? I meant Scyther, but I called it Scizor. Snorlax, this is it's just a good card. I like it. We have the Vaporeon on Hollow. You got all the bubbles and everything. And then we keep scrolling through. I still like this. I don't know. It just works. I do have a few, you know, random first editions sprinkled in there. And there's a Wigglytuff non-hollow first edition. Butterfree. There's a reason why this Uncommon is one of the more valuable Uncommons within the set. It's it's a great looking card. I mean, just look at that artwork. You got the beautiful flowers. You got Butterfree. You got the wind. You got the aroma. You got the sweet scent. It's amazing. Dodrio. I actually really like a lot of the Uncommons in this set. That's a not a bad card. I like the Executor. You know, with the sunset on the background. Looks like sitting on the beach. You know, with the palm trees, so it's not bad. Thero, I feel like I saw this card so many times growing up. Got this Gloom, kind of the same line with the, the Vile Plume, that like 3D thing or whatever. This one's kind of eh, has mushrooms. Lickitung, it's, it's, that's a pretty cool one. Very Hungry Boy. Marowak, action photo, it's nice when they have a little action. Nidorina, kind of the same thing as the Nidoqueen. Queen. Parasect, this is a... Uh, it's, it's Parasect, you know, very forgettable Pokemon. Persian, I don't know, this this Persian artwork's starting to grow on me. It's, even though it's freaking 20 years old, but yeah, it's a nice little Persian artwork, I'm not gonna lie. Primeape, this one, this one's a solid one. I do have it in first edition and unlimited randomly. If I ever found like first editions, like I would scoop them up if I could get them from cheap, like bulk prices. Rapidash, this is, I mean, mine's in not very good condition, but this is one of my favorite uncommons. It's just beautiful, it's very majestic. You always think of, you know, the the episode where Ash races the Ponyta, or I can't remember if it was a Rapid Ash or a Ponyta, but be, to beat the Dodrio. Got Rhydon coming at you fast. We have Seeking, which I actually like the Seeking artwork. Seeking, another forgettable Pokemon, but yeah. Tauros, was never really a fan of this artwork. Just, it's kind of off-putting. I don't know how to explain it. Weeping Bell, I really like that there's a lot going on. Like that jungle looks like you're gonna find some crazy critters. Got Bell Sprout with all those wishes flying through the air. Got Cubone looking up to the stars. I think this is a really cool iconic artwork. Eevee. There's a reason why, you know, this in first edition and good and in good condition goes for so much money. I mean, that's just such a cute artwork. I mean, that's just beautiful. Got the butterflies, you got the flowers taking a nice little leap. Got execute. You know, just, just some eggs and a nest. Nothing too special. Goldeen, actually looking pretty majestic jumping out of the water. Doesn't really look like a Goldeen, but there's Goldeen. Jigglypuff, another one of my favorite um, common artworks within this set. Or is this an uncommon? Oh, no, that's a common. It's just a beautiful artwork. I love the music notes. Jigglypuff singing those green eyes. So vibrant, beautiful. We have the Mankey. Almost reminds me of like a monkey. Yeah, a Mankey. Got me off, really cool artwork. When I think of jungle, like this is the card that I think of. When I think of the jungle set, this is the first card I think of, is this Meowth card. I mean, Meowth sitting on those coins, making some money. Nidoran, female, same vibe as the previous two. Got Oddish, same thing with the 3D print theme. Got Paris, very similar to the Parasect. Pikachu, I don't know, this Pikachu, I like this Pikachu better than base set. It's it's a really nice Pikachu. It just looks very pleasant. Very, you know, symmetrical, pleasing to the eye. I, I like that Pikachu. Got Rhyhorn. You know, nothing too special. Almost looks like he's, this Rhyhorn's on Mars or something. Spearow. Gives me very similar basic vibes. It's a Spearow, or the Fero. Got Venonat. Not bad. Those, those things look like gigantic in the background, but I guess Venonat. I remember Venonat being kind of big though. And then the final card is the Pokeball. Let's see if I can get it in the 64 out of 64. No secret rares or anything in this set. I'll do one last recap of all the cards and all their glory. It's nice to have all these cards like in the binder because none of them are really in good enough condition to send off to grading. 
but yeah, very, very short set, very manageable to complete if, you know, you're interested in something like that. But yeah, I got these from eBay, from TCG Player, from local card shops, or just from when I pulled when I was younger. But yeah, overall, pretty cool, simple, fun set to open, or to open. I wish I could open these packs up right now to collect. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. If you have complete sets, you know, first edition sets or whatever, please let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. If this is your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like. And if you don't like what you saw, then please leave me some feedback down below or dislike. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you continue to meet your collection goals.